What's going on, y'all? Brother Doug here. And before I move on, what's up with all the dislikes? I mean, you know, I'm going through my videos. I'm seeing, you know, equal amount of likes and the equal amount of dislikes. You know, the same amount. Like, come on. If y'all don't like the videos, that's why I tell you to comment below and tell me what I'm doing wrong. But it's probably some bitch niggas hating. So, uh, let's move on. So, in the beginning, Nagi shows up to school to get Fuka. And he's using his ninja skills, you know, to get to school. And even Fuka reminded him, like, you know, we're supposed to be ninjas, supposed to hide. Did they not learn anything from the last episode? Did they not learn anything from the previous episodes, period? You know, you got uh, Taki being cocky. <laughs> Taki cocky. And even the uh, announcer during the open credits poked fun at that. He was like, ninjas, they don't hide. Remember, he, he originally said, you know, what they would say, you know, that they hide. But I guess since the last episode, he changed it on this one and said, they don't hide. Subtitles are your friend. You know, this monster's you know, this monster's powers were kind of cool, but at the same time, kind of annoying. And, you know, when they destroyed him the first time, how come they didn't walk over to the scene of the matter and, you know, I don't know, stomp on, stomp on it, you know? That would have been made the... Well, then again, it would have been a five-minute episode. <laughs> My favorite part, though, was when the monster revealed his weakness. And lo and behold, he had no clue that the other Rangers didn't know the weakness. Because the real weakness that Fuka thought was, you know, he's afraid of dogs. And he is. But the real weakness was the clock on his chest, you know, was the gateway to his power. So they destroyed that. I thought that was pretty clever and funny. I also like the time travel aspect. However, it didn't really go anywhere. They were just there in 2005 for like, what, a minute or so? And then, you know, saw their old selves, you know, their younger selves and their kids. And then... After that, the monster appeared, it vanished, and poof. Like, wow. But can we just talk about that ending for a second? You know, the Gold Ranger. I don't know, I, I wasn't really feeling it at first, you know, him being a cowboy. But then I thought, you know, cowboys are awesome. Cowboys and ninjas. You know, cowboys and ninjas are always colliding in various mediums. Since ninjas are pretty much the folklore of, you know, Asia, cowboys are pretty much the folklore for us. You know, uh, <laughs> you know the United States of America. The West Coast, to be exact. So, you know, merging two... Western cultures, you know, you have cowboys, you have ninjas, colliding, <laughs> and also, 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 the Gold Ranger speaks English, kind of like Ninja Black from Cocker Ranger, so that's pretty dope. <laughs> so that's what I thought about the episode. What did y'all think? Uh, how do y'all feel about the Gold Ranger? You know, some people are complaining. I was reading the comments like, oh, it's too early for a sixth ranger. Well, you know, eh. I like the show season so far, y'all. You know, I would have stopped if I didn't like. It, I would stop probably the third, fourth episode. But I'm, you know, continually pouring out these reviews because I like the series. So what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and like always, this.